How are you, by the way? So good, love. You? Doing well, doing well. Pleasure to be with you. Same. Yeah. Mm. I'm like ridiculously excited for this one. Oh, hold your pants on, man. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the 90 minutes. <laughs> I'm so cool. I'm so cool. Yeah. Oh, man. Cool. So yeah. we're, we're rolling. And yeah, let's just shoot the shit. Let's do it. So, yeah. so Anna Brown, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Anna Brown is the name. Yeah. <laughs> but the identity isn't there. No. Yeah. Mm-mm. But there's a personality for sure. There's a character, just like there's a character there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cool so start unpacking this for us yeah yeah so there's only oneness there's only wholeness there's only that which we want to call god and it's appearing as everything everything from the shittiest thing we can think of to the most glorious thing we can think of it is everything and yet simultaneously nothing meaning our mind or brains can't comprehend this mystery that is appearing as this voice in that voice but it is one dance. It just seems to be spliced in two, you see, but this is just one reflection. So the dream of seeking, the idea that I'm going to be on a really hard path with all my tools and work on myself really hard to psych- or dissect myself like operation, the game operation, I will get closer to enlightenment, to liberation, to the Godhead. And all I can say is that's a fallacy. It's a misconception. This already do, 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 is the Godhead appearing as a human. Or you could say this is being a human, beingness appearing as a human, hence the human being, you see? But the dream is, no, I'm just a human. I'm going to find a beingness. You won't ever find it because it's not missing. It's already appearing as you. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> cool. So how do you feel about it being a question mark with itself? Hmm. Well, I would say oneness knows itself, it, but it's, it's an intuitive knowing. It's an intuitive recognition. So it's the elimination of doubt when there's no longer seeking. So there's no doubt here. There's, there's a natural confidence, but I don't know. It's kind of like being a kid. There's an innocence, but children have a natural confidence to them because they're naturally being this, right? They're not convoluted by dogma and religion and Uh, cultures yet they're just they're just their natural self right so if we can omit the word enlightenment and just use organic or authenticity or natural that really takes like a heavy load off all right because those are just stories all of those are just stories so mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so there is the apparent cessation of story that then seems to um create greater um awakeness to said question mark like the story say that one more say that one more time Mm -hmm. so like Mm -hmm. the cessation of story narrative Mm -hmm. sense of self and others yeah yeah seems to create greater awakeness to the mystery that one is, that this is. Mm. I'm not sure how to answer that, but I, I get what you're saying. You could say the person who feels like they have free will and choice that is separate from the whole, it seems to cover this. It seems to shroud this. And it thinks kind of like in spirituality, I can elevate my consciousness. I can raise my vibration. And that's a misunderstanding. That's, that's not what we're speaking about here. Those are states. States don't last. We're speaking about something that is stateless, but can appear as all states. Um, What we're speaking about, it knows itself. It is itself. What doesn't know itself is the one chasing its own tail. And it's constantly in doubt. That's why it likes to change belief systems like underwear, right? Or hairdos, because it hides behind beliefs. It hides behind stories because it's afraid, so to speak, of this. 
And there's nothing wrong with seeking. There's nothing wrong with feeling like you're autonomous outside of the whole because that is the absolute. If we're really hearing this, we're saying that everything, even the dream of seeking, is liberation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's Paradox, damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love that. I love the all of the different webs of beliefs and just hiding behind those. Um, mm -hmm. it's the great game it seems like um, yeah yeah because it, or it can be not so great it really depends on the belief system right Atlas yeah some belief systems aren't very uh, jubilant <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so do you feel like the simultaneity of already being it and yet also the appearance of the kind of cessation of those belief systems do you feel like a simultaneity there and kind of pointing people to that well beliefs fall you don't no longer you don't no longer need a belief they can still arise old belief systems old memories old anything can seem to arise no one's super interested in them anymore because what we're speaking about is being life it doesn't need beliefs and i like to say if we look at the word belief in the english language it says be life lies right in the middle now if you move that e to the end we have be life. So we're talking about a perception shift going from personal to impersonal. And, and, and there's no goal with this. This isn't a teacher and I have no goal for you to shift because from here it's seen everything is the absolute and in perfect harmony. It just won't make sense to what we call our minds or brains because the brain is cut into two hemispheres. It can only operate in black and white, right and wrong in comparison. Yeah. It resonates a lot um, when we share it as a perceptual shift. And so then there seems to be a lot of um, uh, like questions that arise by it yeah. asking itself through others about how to obtain said perceptual shift. Right. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So first thing to know, I didn't reach anything and I didn't attain anything. So the one who was trying to reach, trying to attain through effort, dissolved or disappeared like fog on a sunny day because it wasn't real. It was illusory. OK, and so we can't reach this. How can we reach it when it's already appearing as breath? It's appearing as this conversation. Now, self-consciousness is the dream of humanity, which is the ability to observe oneself, dissociate, detach micromanage look at oneself and then tinker and and try to manipulate and control that is illusory it's the absolute appearing as that there is no control there is absolutely no control so the idea that you you who is outside of the whole can bring itself closer to the whole through practice is imagination it's not real because there is only wholeness appearing as a you trying to get closer to it nice and that's heard when it's heard you know what i mean it it rings when it rings yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah this is where i feel like this is like this is really the crux of it i mean um how many years has it been now just honing like honing in on this and um like the ability to share it and like because there is that like sense of compassion there's that sense of loving kindness that like radiates because there is like so much sincerity truly coming from it to itself asking yeah. about what it is and yeah and so at this like crux we could say is yes the pointing of you're already it looking for itself and that's already wholeness like there is that like direct pointing of like, you know, the cessation of separation and whatnot, locality, story, all those things. And yet at the same time, at that same crux point is the, okay, well, although I have this direct pointing in access, I also am so overwhelmed by my own habits of simulating a sense of self and others and separation and story. Mm -hmm. And so then there is also like just simply just meditation 
or like relaxation of the stories and of the sense of self, right? So through breath, through focus, through concentration, like that can also yield greater access to said crux point. Do you also feel similarly? Curious. Well, I would, well, that would be us practicing into it. That would be more like a therapy or a therapeutic process, which there's nothing wrong with it. That's very intelligent. If one feels separate, if one feels like they're in a prison cell, it, it makes sense to do those things. But the seeker, you are the prison cell. Until that scene, it's always going to be decorating the prison cell with very beautiful things. Hence the spiritual path, the religious path, the therapeutic path, the self-help path. But there isn't a self to help. And that's why this is not a popular message. Um, you know what I mean? Because it's there, if there's no handouts, there's no, here's a mantra, here's a meditation, this is going to help you kind of thing. It's a really hopeless message because what we're suggesting is even the neurosis, even the habits are the absolute appearing as habits and neurosis. But what I can share is what seemed to arise here is when this was heard by no one, when this was seen by no one, the neurotic stuff kind of started to slowly fall off. The habit started to not appear as intensely. For some, it's just boom, game over. You know what I mean? Like, what are you even talking about? Didn't even miss a beat. This here was stubborn. So it seemed like things took a bit. The neurotic stuff takes a bit to kind of fall off, right? But there's still going to be natural emotions. All natural emotions arise. Anger, frustration, sadness, gladness, all of those things appear. But now there's no longer an idea of, oh, I got angry. I better go heal some shit or I better go meditate away the anger because that means I'm not there yet. But all emotions, all sensations are of the one source. So nothing is denied. Everything is included. Obviously, uh, frustration feels different than gratitude, but there's no longer someone going, not you. Oh, yeah, come in gratitude, not you, sadness. You know what I mean? It's a everything is welcome to be naturally as it is. Yeah. So crying may arise, you know, going punching a tree. I don't know to get to get anger out. All of that may arise, but when we're on a spiritual path, we're told, "Hey, if you're enlightened, if you're there, you won't ever get angry. You're gonna love all your neighbors. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll never cuss. You know, you'll become a vegetarian. Whatever the fantasy is, and then when we hear it's already appearing as everything." including the emotions you're shoving into a box and labeling do not open. You see, because when we have these types of philosophies, what we call negativity can seem to be inflamed and visit us more often than not, because we're seeing it as an enemy like Satan or an ego. There isn't one. There's only the absolute appearing is all. And that's why many would say sages or masters, if you will say, have no enemy. Because there isn't one. There is no other. And that includes emotions and thoughts. It's all the absolute dancing and prancing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, there's something so important about this, um, as is sort of called nowadays, uncompromising, let's say, pointing. <laughs> Um, yeah. is cr it's, cr it's really critical, I feel. Um, and, and yet there's also something about it that feels um, a little bit like, um, like it doesn't always meet uh, the other self, let's say, where they're at sometimes. No way, yeah, yeah no way. Well, I, it's because when we're, we're coming to someone usually is for help. This is speaking directly to the one that's awake, confident, alive, and doesn't need help in the endeavors of enlightenment. You may need help making cookies. I use that example a lot. I like sweets. You may need help cleaning your house and, and maybe someone will come and help you do that. But when it's like, I need help reaching what you're talking about, Anna, I can only hold up a mirror and tap your nose. You see? Yeah. And mm -hmm. so it's great. So that, <laughs> let, so let's say that when you do that, that then yeah. there's the, the spectrum of responses, let's say, where you yeah, have, totally, yeah. right. So you have like the direct, right. Oh my gosh, of course. Fuck. Yeah. I got <laughs> it. You know, type thing. And then there's the, um, 
I don't get it. I'm still suffering. And that's, uh -huh. yeah. so then do you keep tapping them on the, do you keep doing that same process mirror nose tap or what? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I don't do it though. I don't do it. So when there's no longer a person, there's no longer a sense of separation, it doesn't connect and relate in the level of sense of separation. You see like, oh, well, let's do this or let's do that. Cause this is a bird's eye view seeing there is no chooser. There is no doer. What will be will be, so to speak. All of this is chaos appearing orderly. There isn't a separate chooser. But to what I'm speaking of, everyone knows, if you will. You know this. I know this. That's why there's a resonance. So there can be a deep like, oh my God. Yes, I know exactly what you're speaking about. And then the beliefs may start to arise. Sure, so what? They have no meaning at all so you're right yes this can only abide in the reflection but that doesn't mean there's not compassion or empathy right so yeah. would you say that what comes through after the first tap on the nose with the mirror and then the not getting it is still the same tap on the nose with the mirror or is there an adjustment that organically occurs Oh, it's always organic because each character is different and only life knows what to say to life. A mind has no idea what to say. It's always like, well, let's, mm, I, have, I don't know, fuck, you know, but life knows what to say to itself because it just does. It's, it's everything and nothing. So of course it knows what to say, but it's spontaneous and it's organic and it's off the cuff. It's not precogged, if you will. That's what frightens a sense of separation. It wants everything planned and precogged. So the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. But this is natural spontaneity and it's just, yeah, it's just like dancing or making love, you know, it's just, and here we go this way and what, you know? Yeah. I can't say what's coming next. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then you feel, you feel, would you say hollow or empty? Oh no, it's a simultaneity. So the fullness is empty and the emptiness is full or formlessness is form. Paradox. It can't be got. But I like to use the example of quantum physics, the atom, which is 99.9999999% space. And this is apparently made of atoms. So, I mean, science is even starting to get close to that pointing. You see that, it, that spaciousness or uh, the chaos of potentiality appears as a particle. Appears as a particle. We have to say this is an appearance like a dream at night. So there's nothing behind this, nothing in front of it. It's not going anywhere. It didn't come from anywhere because cause and effect isn't actually real. It only seems to be. And I have to say, this is as mysterious to this as is there. There's just no longer doubt from stories and dogma. So there's just an innocence. And this innocence speaks to the innocence. That is all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So of course there's uh, the simultaneity of empty fullness and, um, and of course there's the, the mystery with itself or whatever fill in the blank with itself dancing. Right. So, mm. so that's, that's become just so um, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt, um, and the freedom, let's say, uh, from that is, um, which it, of course, always already is that, um, but mm -hmm. then, but then the game that it plays where it apparently masks or veils itself from that, um, and, that at that, like, let's, I, I, I'm, it's nice continuing to reference it as some sort of a, like a crux point or like a source mm -hmm. point or whatever you will, however you, if you will, that whatever source point, crux point of like freedom, um, in a sense, seemingly veiling itself to mm -hmm. uh, some sort of illusion of separation, location, sense of self, whatnot. Mm -hmm. 
limits limits basically limits mm-hmm. right yeah yeah mm-hmm. but limits still appear and a sense of location still arises so i'm not over here feeling like a blob of lsd or something no there's definitely a sense of body and location for some they can have the experience or like a glimpse of just awareness is everything if you will if we want to use that word but a sense of location comes back those types of things don't last right there's a sense of locale i'm not walking through walls you know like a ghost or something you see so we don't get rid of being human it's just human is finally accepted by no one you see the ideas of I'm just a human or I was born and I will die, they all, they all go. This is already paradise pretending. But going to your crux, um, there's not, a, you could say everything is the point, a pointless point. But we can look at it just as an X. It's just one big X. This is the X marks the spot always. For the person, they got the treasure map, right? And they're like, oh my God, where's the X? Where's the fucking X, man? And it's on your forehead. It's on your fucking forehead. And everywhere, you know, <laughs> it's not funny though, when you, you know, you're looking forward, kind of like when you have your glasses on your head and you're like, holy crap. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just, uh... but nothing changes, nothing changes, but you could say everything is transformed. So, um, you know, the, the Zen Cohen of before enlightenment, chop would carry water after enlightenment, chop would carry water. Rolls arise. The show goes on for no one. Mm. So, so if we play and I say that I don't get no one, how, Mm -hmm. how do you, how does it share with itself at that crux? So like mm, I'm not in a crux and yeah it, it's not I'm not in a crux how there's does, no crux to share how, how yeah. does another way to say this how does freedom because it feels like the entire game is played mm. where freedom liberates itself from its own illusions it seems like that and we hear that a lot too but what if there isn't even a game you see we can use, we can go into that. As soon as we start to go into like explaining this, we're weaving a web of which we can get stuck in like a fly, you know? Um, what if there's not even a game? You see what I'm saying by that? Because if there's a game, there's a winner and a loser. We're in the, we're in the dream of duality. There really isn't separation. Separation appears. So if you mean like the show goes on, yeah, there's a show that goes on. Watching Netflix goes on, making dinner goes on, folding laundry goes on. Apparently, it's an appearance. Um, But there's no one up in the sense of like, I'm going to get to enlightenment. That's because it's it's just a story. There is no such thing. You could say there is only enlightenment. Nice. So let's call that like simultaneity of game and no game. Because yeah. as, as soon as there is this conversation appearing of freedom liberating itself from illusion, that's the creation of illusion, or that's the creation of game, let's say. And there is no game being played because everything's already free and liberated, as we've, as we've referenced. Mm-hmm. Cool. And yet there is also the appearance of the game. When there's a seeker. When there's a you there who feels like they're in control, right? But it's not real. Nothing is real. And you can hear that both possible ways. Nothing is appearing to be real. It doesn't make any logical sense. Only intuitive, yeah. (laughs) Because you see in the dream, which there isn't one, that's why no one wakes up because there's nobody asleep. That's why it's so hard to wake up. You're not asleep. <laughs> you see, but in, but in the dream of seeking, it's something needs to change first, but nothing will change. That idea seems to dissolve. And with that, it seems either quickly or slowly the, the neurosis of the character. But I got to say, even old neuroses can seem to appear. They just don't have the charge as they used to, you see. 
because most of the time, those types of energies like OCD and anxiety come from the idea of time being real, my past being real and my future being very real and important. But that too, is it? Yeah. Crap. Because <laughs> this is perfection appearing. It's just, it won't never make sense to the brain. Right? It, perfection usually to, is, is very personal. This is what perfection looks like for me, right? Right. But we're speaking about a perfection that's beyond mind, perfection beyond the ideas of the world. Mm -hmm. But appears as the world. That's why, you know, Jesus in the world, yet not of it. In other words, formlessness is form. So it's kind of incognito, you know, because you could be eating a pretzel or slurping down a beer and no one's home, but to an outsider, it's like, oh my God, how low vibrational or whatever, right? How human, how earthly. Meanwhile, there's no one home. Yeah, because it's, it's beyond all these ideas of what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad, what is higher and lower, all hierarchies land in the shitter, you see? <laughs> yeah. But there's still the play of talking and words and all of these types of things that go on. You know, we're not just walking around like a mute or a statue, you know, how <laughs> <A> boring. <laughs> so two fun threads, I feel, to pull there. Um, yeah, let's pull on the most recent one. So, so the absolute dissolution of hierarchy and yet also the appearance of when something tragic happens that there is the going to the highest let's say doctor so highest doc what do you mean by the highest doctor like are you talking about a medical doctor yes yes oh okay yeah i mean yeah there's still like the looking for the best doctors or schools or i don't know Yes. air salon to go to yeah totally that's yes. already what's happening though yeah. yes yes and so this is yeah. another fun place to like share is the sure. entangled. yeah so where there's both like no hierarchy and appearing hierarchy like that sign mm. of feels is really important and then the other one mm. that's very similar with that entanglement is the the nothing is real and yet also mm. without a doubt it's also appearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. so it, this, this is again, that like entangled of. Yeah. Yeah. Like. <clears throat> it's like a braid. Yeah. Like a DNA, like a double helix. Yeah. You can't, it's, you can't separate them. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's your stairway to heaven, by the way. Yeah. Stairway to heaven. It's just like that. The braid, the double, it double helix. It's, it's entwined. It can't be separated. Yeah. You can try to, and that's the headache, right? The, this, the trying to is, oh, I've got a mind. I've got an ego. I've got a soul. I've got a past. I've got a future. Actually, we don't have anything. Damn. I love, uh, <laughs> I love the, um, the entangled share where, um, like the reference to a braid or the double helix and just how that is the stairway to heaven. I, I, I love that. That just feels, yeah. Yeah, that, that feels really good. Yeah. It's you, it's you. It's like, it, it looks like a fucking ladder anyways. Right. I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's so wonderful. Yeah. And that's why wonderfully nothing, right? 
Yeah. And absolutely everything. So we're not denying form, but yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wonderfully nothing, absolutely everything. Yeah. Mm. Cool. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean again that it's you you love everyone in the sense of like oh kumbaya let's all get together there's definitely preferences and resonances and all of that you know but again that's already what's appearing birds of a feather flock together or don't you know but now let's say what seems to not arise is the guilt because i could say when this character seemed to be in the spiritual community it was like oh, gotta get along with everybody if i don't you know maybe there's something to heal or clear or there may be some guilt or shame for the behaviors of the character Finally, the character is accepted for what it is, which could be very taboo-ish. You could be seen as an asshole. I can't say, but finally, there's no guilt, shame, or insecurity for the character traits. It's, it's naturally celebrated. But that doesn't mean everyone's going to like you. It doesn't mean you're going to like everybody. And I know these words sound very dualistic. Um, but I mean, look at nature. Um, some plants can't grow next to each other because they'll literally choke each other out. You know, and some animals, they, you know, it's all, it, there's natural boundaries and harmonies and lions eat gazelles, you know, but they're not like, oh my God, my karma, you know, none of that arises because they don't have self-consciousness. It's an immediacy. It's a seamlessness. It's a primordial intelligence. You see? Um, yeah. Self-consciousness is that ability to kind of hover and, and pull back and fractal into two, which no one's choosing to do that. No one's choosing to do that. It's kind of like a reflex, like an allergic reaction. It's just boundless energy appearing as that. Yeah. Interesting. Share that last sentence a little bit more. Oh dear. Boundless energy expressing as that. Otherwise it's all gone. And one, and <laughs> one more and one more before that. I, I, I feel like it was basically sharing that. Um, freedom can appear to choose to have a sense of self in a body. Oh, yes. That's and it right. does not give a shit. And I got to be clear. Oneness does not care about seeing this, so to speak. It's not important. This message is not like going door to door and, oh, my God, come to the carnival. You, you got to hear this message. It's going to change your life. There's, there's no life to change. There can be a resonance, and, and that resonance is what is already awake, what is already alive, what is already confident and knows this. That's why I say, hey, y'all, this is a reflection. You know this. It'd be arrogant for me to say that I know more than you. I don't. We're just two friends chatting about what we intuitively know. You know, And it just comes out of this character, this instrument in, in a certain way, but another instrument or character, it may sound a little different, but it, but it is truly all one breath, many instruments. Mm -hmm. some are kind of noisy though i don't listen to all <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah and i like yeah it's it's yeah already i was just, I was just gonna say I, I like how you just simply brought in a very organic example of um, certain plants not being able to grow next to each other or just the way that um, there is a prey and predator type of dynamic that happens in, in the natural biological expression of what we are, what it is. And so because of that, it's very similar to why there is an apparent polarity between political parties or whatnot. Yes. As long as there is form, Atlas, there will have to be apparent polarities day and night black and white hot and cold mm, predator and prey sinner and saint <laughs> but the good news is is the sinner is the saint and the predator is the prey Ooh. you see but when we're on a spiritual path of religious it's oh no no none of that evil stuff none of that sinner stuff none of that heathen stuff no darkness well you are the darkness as well as the light you're everything and as long as there is that not that not that we're living in that boxing ring i won this match oh you're gonna get your ass laid out the next match it's always going to be that kind of you know what i mean that that game of tug of war tug of war and tug of war can still appear and a boxing match you know when it's seen that by knowing that this is it it's just now that competitive mind of intense arrogance and this is what's going to fulfill me collapses and now maybe there's just boxing for the joy of it Tug of war because I don't know, that's fun, falling on your face in the mud. 
I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just a, a character trait. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay. We, we don't all have to wear white <laughs> or like give up our CrossFits or our, you know, our whatever it is. Yeah. Or pizza or beer. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. I like how you said that as long as there is form, mm -hmm. the assumption, let's say, or belief of form, there will also be the, let's say, ignorance of uh, knowing that it is both appearing polarities. And then that creates um, feelings of suffering. Um, and so well, I wouldn't say that. Nothing creates anything. So it's not that the polarities are wrong. As long as there's an appearance of form, there's going to be the balancing. You know, just that's just that's how it appears. If there's form, there'll be the opposite. And then right? seeing, seeing through form is then what yields, let's say, um, or appears to yield through an appearance of a process, insight into formlessness, which then makes it seen through that the form is I or it appearing as poles. You could, you could say that. I mean, in the story of Anna, it was uh, this year, it went impersonal, you could say. There was a collapse in realizing I was nothing, I had nothing, I owned nothing, none of this was real. Um, and that led to like a desert period, which I felt kind of hopeless. Um, all beliefs were kind of tempting me, like Jesus in the desert, right? Uh, tempting. And so all of these types of things were falling away, felt completely hopeless because nothing was real. That's the wisdom. But the love part, that joy part, that bliss part is the recognition that you are everything. You're the body. Yeah, you're the appearance, the appearance of mind, of, of personality, everything that's arising. That's the love part. Until that is seen by no one, it's kind of like, oh, you don't want anything to do with form. You don't, you don't, you want to get away from it, which is kind of a masculine energy of let's detach, like self-inquiry, let's hover, let's pull away from body, let's pull away from world. And we're talking a, woo, a complete collapse into body, a complete collapse into everything. No one's trying to tinker with it anymore in that sense of, I need to alter something to reach something called God or enlightenment. But there can be, let's say, altering the diet, starting a new rec or exercise regimen, because there's a joy there. There's a joy to move. There's a joy to dance. There's a joy to express and create, not because I'm gonna get closer to God through it, because that's already what is. It's just paradise playing for no reason, for no point, for no purpose, just like kids on the jungle gym. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I like how you talk about it um, when you reference the like desert period of I am nothing and then the um, collapse um, of that with the I am everything and then the the cessation of needing to do something to be what one already is. Um, I feel like that's really powerful. Um, and then there's also the like there's also like the story of what you a, a, the appearance of your story which is that mm -hmm. for some some amount of, again, years that there was mm -hmm. a sense of you being your identity and then mm -hmm. that shifting into what we just described. Right. But I have to be clear, it didn't lead to this because you could say since a very young age, there was glimpses. So there'd be dropping of identity when I was really little and they would come back, drop, come back. So when, and when it was dropped, it was very obvious that this was heaven in disguise. But then my beliefs, Anna, the, you know, the seeking would come back in and go, oh, my God, what, what was that? You know, trying to find it through spirituality or, you know what I mean? Trying to investigate and get back to it, not recognizing that that glimpse was this just appearing as a person trying to find itself. Um, so, yeah, the opening and the closing seem to arise here. That doesn't have to rise 
for every character. There is no poster child for this. So that's why we can't look to any character and go, oh, well, she, you know, she had a glimpse as a child. I didn't have that. So it's never going to happen or whatever. Nothing is happening and it's not going to happen to you. This already is it. How you're sitting, how you're breathing, how you're blinking is the manifestation of totality. Perfection. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And thoughts still arise and emotions still arise. Yeah. It's not about a silent mind <laughs> that can arise too, but you know, already thoughts are the absolute thinking. Emotions are the absolute emotioning feeling, you know? Yeah. Just like you don't choose the weather. Yeah. <laughs> that's all we really can do <laughs> yeah so I feel this is another good um, way to play on this is that um, you have you have kids. Is it just one yeah. or two, two, two. six year old and a seven month old, almost eight, basically we'll just say eight month old. <laughs> Did you say a six year old and a eight, an eight month old? Oh. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Um, and so you've sort of had the opportunity to see um, that like life having like the ability to um, like lose itself in its sense of identity or like that flickering in a sense. on Yeah. Yeah. I saw that with my first daughter, Luna. And when she was around the age of two, uh, she, I mean, cause it's just pure beingness. It's just pure beingness. You know, and I'm going into a story now here, but around the age of like two, two and a half, she would like, there'd be moments where, yeah, like a flicker, she would hold her head and she would go, my mind, my mind, my mind's coming. And I would just sit there and just be like, oh, like, whoa, you know, like this is unusual and interesting. And yeah, then it would drop. So yeah, I, I could see that condition coming in. And when I was raising Luna, you know, there was still seeker energy here, right? So, you know, there's still some of that kind of all, you know, teaching going on with that because there was still a contraction here there's still a, a seeking here um so yeah but there was nothing wrong with that of course just like there's nothing wrong with the hand-me-downs from my folks or communities and all of that it's just what seems to be happening or arising but yeah i totally witnessed that within um with luna yeah but no one here wants to change that you see yeah She has questions, this naturally responds and answers, you know, and there is times where she reports to me, mom, I feel like nothing. I don't feel like anything. And I don't know if I belong in this world. You know, she'll say things like this sometimes, you know, and it's like, yeah, it's okay, honey. It's okay. You know, and she's only six, so we can't go into this kind of lingo here. You know, you got to use certain words, but there's a natural response that comes out. You know what I mean? Like to, to a question she has or something she shares, it's just very natural and spontaneous. Like I said, life knows what to say to itself. Mm -hmm. and when to say it yeah. yeah cool so yeah it sounds like there hasn't been an um a solidity that has built up in luna yeah. And, mm -mm. yeah and then that what um that plays um into why there's um like the communication of something like i don't feel like 
any like I feel like I'm nothing or I feel like I'm I'm not anything and um, yeah it's like a freedom of not being a thing right but for her sometimes it's like because there is what we would call a sense there is a sense of self there right there's a sense of separation she'll come in and she'll be like this is kind of weird or I don't like the way it feels or you know stuff like that you know and we'll talk about it but yeah I mean just like within the apparent human here or the character right there can be those what we're calling glimpses or oscillations right and when the person comes back or something and maybe like what was that that was really weird you know or be really afraid, or I, I can't say, it depends on the character, but I mean, I, I can report that. Things are very odd, I can't explain it. Yeah, I mean, my goodness, <laughs> of course it's odd. <laughs> it's, it's odder than, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <clears throat> mm -hmm. and um is was uh did i remember this right your eight month old is is maya is that right right lila oh it's lila Le yeah. <laughs> such Lila. close yeah, right. yeah lila the divine play baby that's right yeah yeah mm -hmm. um and so uh and yeah lila and luna cool so there's some mm -hmm. alliteration there that's fun <laughs> yeah yeah it's cool so um interesting so she, so lila hasn't yet hit um they're both girls right right yes cool. mm -hmm. and um she hasn't yet hit um a uh the formation of any sense of identity right no like when mama leaves the room i don't exist I'm not there anymore. And that's very scary for a baby because to them, they don't have space time perception. So when a ball rolls under something, I leave the room or I take a toy away, it's gone forever. And that's why babies will cry. Where'd mommy go? Cause like to them, they're not there. They're not there. <laughs> and then I come back, right? Like the game peekaboo too. If you ever play peekaboo with the little one, you're totally gone. That's why when you come back from the hands, it's like, <gasps> whoa. And they start laughing hysterically. Cause you like just came out of the ethers literally um so yeah it's just being this and it's just just like with any baby or just anyone there's all human functionings all natural functionings there's crying there's getting frustrated there's giggling there's farting there's puking <laughs> eating all of that arises and that's 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 natural yeah and that that does remain that does stay thank god because i love food so you know <laughs> <laughs> chop wood carry water it's just seeing everything is an appearance and it's not on a train track and time is most definitely a construct not real so but it is mysterious how aging seems to appear evolution seems to appear progression seems to appear i mean i have to underline seems to just like in a dream at night yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and so uh no no amount of calling this um a dream is also going to um make the dream in a sense stop as though it it goes on even though you know it's a dream it, it knows itself as a dream. You, you could say it's like, I mean, and like I said, forgive the words, because no word I say is going to encapsulate what we're speaking about. We're just trying to paint a picture that can't be painted. So it's like, you know, we're doing the best we can, right? Um, but you could say it's like a lucid dream. The one knows this is a dream. The one knows this isn't real. But that doesn't mean there's not pain. That doesn't mean there's not sensations. That doesn't mean there's not challenges. Oh, there totally is. But for no one. Suffering can appear as well, but there's not personal suffering. And that's a big 
let's we're using the word wake up call but for one let's say that's been on a spiritual or religious path because it's like we got to get rid of the the pain stuff we got to get rid of that lower stuff you know um but it's like no that's that's it too that's it too but i can just share what seems to stop arising is that that intense kind of neurotic energy of, of where am i going where have i been let's alter shift and change these things but you don't have dementia you know what i mean like yeah <laughs> you don't have dementia that's what's funny is it comes to recognize there never needed to be an eye to do anything talking still goes on walking goes on folding the dishes goes on no one was ever doing it so ownership dissolves yeah it's amazing mm. absolutely amazing I really can't explain. <laughs> but Atlas, this character here in Atlas, it, it's just like a, no different than like a tree or a sunflower or a park bench. The park bench is naturally being itself. The tree is naturally being itself. The birds are naturally being itself. You know, and they kind of hum in energy. Yeah, this is no different than the chair <laughs> or the leaf or the, or the bird. Mm -hmm. This just seems to have the ability to talk and sometimes too much. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like uh, lucid dream. I feel that's great. Um, it covers, like you could say, both. Um, it's a very entangled state, and it's a, it's a nice uh, it's a nice way to describe the this the indescribable. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> do you do you feel a do you feel like what the indescribable is as much again like you've said as we can um, play on this um, which seems to be one of the most fun things that it can do is uh, try and talk about itself because it's um, unable to but it's uh, it's fun too um, yeah um, do you do you feel like a paintbrush is a is a fun way to describe it yeah. Yeah, you could say you're simultaneously the paintbrush and the painter. It's it's hard. It, and it's like anytime we use these types of things, though, it's like if there is a person listening, they're going to be like, OK, well, I'm just the brush. I don't do anything. I don't I'm just being you know what I mean, like kind of like a puppet or something's coming in. You know what I mean? That we kind of have that dualistic. So, yeah. It's, it's hard to explain. You could say this is like improv. It's all off the cuff. It's all just spontaneously erupting like an orgasm or like a big bang. It's just doom, doom. It has no intention. It has no volition. It has no destination. It's trying to get to. Yeah. In the sense of purpose, like I'm here on a mission, I'm here on a purpose. All of those things seem to arise. What we're talking about is the end of the need for intention, meaning, and purpose and mission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. obviously, coming to the podcast today is, it looks like it's an intention to speak, right? But it just naturally and spontaneously arises versus like I'm holding an intention and this must happen, this must occur, you know? Yeah. Mm. yeah. So then we would say something like the um, the the painter that it is um, painted this podcast, and it is also intentionless from a personal perspective. Well, it didn't paint the podcast; it's being painted as it arises. Yes. Just like dancing or making love. Like you don't know what's going to happen next. Nobody knows what's going to happen next. But that's the thrill, you could say. And so <clears throat> So
There is no creator, if that's what you're wondering. There's no Godhead outside of this. There's nothing outside of this at all. Yes. It's the whole ocean and drop. Yeah. Yes. And yet, that is painting. It is, well, it seems to be. It's, this isn't actually happening, and it's not going anywhere. Yeah, both. So as it paints, it dissolves. As it paints, it's erased. For the person, it's concrete, it's real, and my painting is important and going somewhere. It dissolves as soon as the brush hits the, pa the paper. It's so, like writing on water. Yes. Yeah. So... What is painted can be, again, dissolves like in water, but can be what is dreamt. It can be um, the choice of or the appearance of taking something and just just like breaking it, like the device that you're watching this on right now. Sure. Or it can be the feeling of the, the desire for this, for it to know itself and to sort of, uh, if you will, share that love with itself, like here in this dream on this earth. And so there, there is the sort of contrast of those possibilities. And so it can express itself as those possibilities. And so there is a, there's a freedom. There's just a freedom. And so, yeah. So like freedom expressing itself as destruction or freedom expressing itself as awakeness. And like, so at that point of, at that point of desire is also at the crux. I would rather say there isn't a crux at all. The there's, crux, there's cruxless. There is no crux. Yeah, it's cruxless. Yeah, yeah. There's, yeah, yeah. I get so, what you, I get where you're coming from, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this this can't be applied to anyone's life. We don't have lives. There isn't a you that's in control of anything. There's no one that's in control of anything at all. But yeah, freedom appears as I'm in control. I'm going to create this destiny for myself. And when I get to that destiny, I will be fulfilled. And then you come to find out, oh, well, that was great. But what's next? Now, what can I have? Being a person is having a bowl with the hole at the bottom. So even if it's filled with gold, it will come out at the bottom. And then you need more. We're talking about the end of need. We're talking about the end of you. But that doesn't mean life doesn't go on. Look outside. You see, it's all just happening by itself. So yes, if that character is driven to like want to, I don't know, join a marathon or something that may arise and there'd be training for that. But what drops is the ownership. What drops is, oh my God, well, I'm going to show everybody. And this is, you know what I mean? That kind of arrogant me versus them kind of thing collapses. And that's why this is a shitty message because most beings are motivated by fear and lack of separation. And when it's come to see, there is no you, there is no future, there is no past, a lot of motivation because it's rooted in, let me prove myself, let me validate myself, can totally dwindle. But what also can happen is, is the exact opposite. The roles, the jobs, the character had can actually become more vibrant, exuberant because there's not insecurity. There's not, I need to get somewhere else. Yes. You That's know what I mean? It is so important. Yeah. 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 Well, I wouldn't say it's so important. It's just, it's just is what it is. You know what I mean? It's just, but if your uh, character is an asshole, that doesn't mean an asshole goes away. You still may appear to be an asshole. There's just not guilt about being an asshole anymore. So we don't all turn into Mother Teresa. That's, that's what the seeker thinks. You know, if I hear this, we're all going to be good boys and girls. And that's not what we're saying at all. And we're also saying this doesn't mean your life will become better. There won't be a change because you're already not there doing anything. But what can seem to stop arising is the neurotic energy of guilt and shame and insecurity of validation and proof. You don't need to prove anything. You are miraculously yourself already. You are the absolute. But that can, like you're sharing, seem to be shared. You can't share this message because we're speaking to that which is already whole. You can share recipe ideas, share your, your knowledge of like, I don't know, 
poodles or giraffes, those types of things. But you get what I'm trying to say here. You can't break this off because it's already wholeness. You are everything and, and no thing everywhere. So it can't be shared. That's why I say this is a reflection. I'm just holding up a huge mirror, speaking to the one that's already awake and knows this. It's not going to know itself through investigation atlas. I got to be clear. It already does know itself. No time will bring you closer to knowing yourself because time is not real. I'm speaking to timelessness, which is already appearing as time. And so it just, it's heard when it's heard like a lightning bolt. And I got to say in the story of Anna, this, this message was the closest thing to home and it resonated so deeply, even though they were still seeking energy. It yeah. was just hearing this was just, was glorious. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There is that resonance mm. lightning bolt or yeah. intuition. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. 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 Mm. Where do you go? Yeah. What do we do? <laughs> yeah. 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 It uh it appears to um to continue. And um well, I mean, we just yeah, I mean questions seem to dissolve. That's what I mean by that. Questions because, dissolve. But yeah. Yet yet it also appears to continue. Um, it's, uh, it's YouTube channel or it's, uh, zoom meetings or mm -hmm. whatever, um, sharing with itself and, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. no one's doing it. This message isn't to help anybody though, just to be clear. Yeah. It's a celebration of what we all know. Yeah. I wonder if in the recording I like you are a little cute. I see it. That's that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> and it's right on your heart too, which is super cute. <laughs> yeah. Party. Yeah. Interesting. So you you know it you know, sharing that it is a birthday party it's like an ongoing celebration more than like helping itself wake up it's just more like a celebration of what it already is yeah celebrating that which you already are you know yeah we're not we're not told this we're told you're jojo you're suzanne and this is what suzanne and this is what jojo does is and this is what you're going to do and you know and there's there's nothing wrong with that that's the absolute playing with itself but yeah within that system so to speak no one goes hey you know you're it <laughs> this is home <laughs> well, i can't i can't like i can't get over this like entanglement or the simultaneity of it it just seems to be just driving everything now it just I, it's like and it just because it's just ah, like it is the celebration it already is and yet it there's also it appeared to forget itself as a person that was separate and then it appeared to remember itself as not that and and there's just there's just a the the way it dances is is that and i and it's indescribable but it's it's that superposition if you will um nothing and everything, all this different, it's just, uh, 
So yeah. And, uh, and then there's just whatever there's the, the release or the letting go total of the, of that. Uh, and like, there's a huge release also around just like wanting to, or like, just um, like for it to describe itself or for it, it that type of thing also, um, which I is so nice also, cause then it, it can be more like play and dance like kids um, rather than a, um, like, a, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know either, man. Nobody yeah. does know. The dream is I know. So yeah. Yeah. I, I'm right with you. I don't know either, man. It's funny how words appear. This doesn't know. Yeah, this didn't get anything, but it is amazing how words appear. It is. Yeah. Words pointing to the wordless. Yeah. Well, the words are actually wordless. Appearing as words. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the all right. Yeah. The rising yeah. of it pointing to itself mm -hmm. without or not or not pointing to itself right it's over there yeah yeah nice or there yeah and that's the entanglement it. that's the superposition that i'm talking about that's fucking insane in it it's so oh crazy. well that will seem yeah. to arise yeah. when that, there is like, it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy yeah. i get you it seems like a self-fulfilling prophecy so if there's an idea if it's over there it's like there's a guru here that goes come to me there's a teacher going come with me which is basically like a carrot being dangled in front of your face or if you don't like carrots maybe it's a twinkie or a donut and that's the person. It's always following the trail of almost getting the treat because teachers are waving things in front of it going, oh, you're almost there. If mm -hmm. you do this, okay. if you do this, okay. you'll so, get it. So, so let's, yes. let's see. So, it, so it, so this is the entanglement. Mm. It always points to itself no matter what. And yet, ah. and yet also, and yet also it appears to not point to itself sometimes, which is the illusion of separation or whatnot. Well, no, I would say all teachers, teachers, is, is, is all illusion therefore the dream teaching enlightenment teaching liberation it can't this can't be taught so i wouldn't say we're, we're talking about the same thing this here is uncompromising and we're saying that no amount of effort can bring you to this so i would say teachers of non-duality have a different stance and position this doesn't have any stance or position because i'm not here to help you reach something because there is no you to reach anything there's only everything appearing as a you trying to reach it fuck yeah, you you were um, talking about teaching, and I'm referencing, um, and that's great that there's that um, just that clarity that that just came through because this is um, that that expression is a, was about uh, teaching, and there is of course mm. resonance here for that for that expression totally, and where this was coming from was more like um, it can't not point to itself because everything is it. But then within that, or as that also is superpositioned, where it can point to, again, like you said, a carrot being outside of itself type thing. And so then that's dream or that's illusion, but yet also it's pointing to itself as illusion. It's a mind fuck. That, as oh, that, that yeah, it is really confusing. I would, I don't, I don't understand that at all. To me, that's super heady and very confusing. It's very simple. Yeah, that's that that's confusing. I felt like I felt like a maze. It's it's very simple. It's it, it, if there's Ooh. a teacher saying, follow me, do these things. That's what I brought in teaching, because you're saying everything is pointing to this. And I would have to disagree. Not everything is pointing to this, because if someone's telling you to do something to get closer to this, that's not pointing to this. But it's still it appearing as that, which is interesting. It, well, it's not real, though. It's and that's what's seen here is past never happened. So when I share the story of Anna, it's real and unreal simultaneously, like I'm recalling a dream to you. So I, I that's where I have to say nothing is real. So in that dream experience of a seeker trying to get closer, it's a dream. It's not real. So I can't say that that's comparable because the real we're speaking about is common to all. And it's here now. It simply as breath. It as what's looking without the ownership of personal. 
Yeah. You see, so that's that's where words can get interchanged. I'm not saying nice. you're right or wrong, yeah. or I'm right or wrong. And that, but and that's that, most, that was really confusing. and that's most yeah. simple. And I feel like it's most yeah. it's most simple for especially kids or for the, those that are actually seeking is that it is what is looking without identity, or it, it is what is breathing without identity. The no yeah. one that is that. Yeah. 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 And it's, it, it's not, yeah, it's quickest, it's to, it's quickest yeah. to just go yeah. that way. Uh, again, that way, go that way or do. I get, I, no, I get you. Yeah. yeah. But, but yeah. that, that yeah. style of the pointing is so good because it just, it sort of gets cuts through anything that the mind can put up as a deflection uh, of it because it, totally. it, it goes yeah. to what you could say is a source of that um, and then it forces, it's like a forcing function to be like, no, 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 it's from there, it's actually identity less, uh, et cetera. And that, that's like, that's a like resonance or lightning or intuition. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're, you're a hoot. You're a fucking hoot for sure. Thanks, man. You're a hoot. Thanks, Atlas. I, mean, I hope the hoot hoot doesn't mean like she's cuckoo. No, I no, get that hoot, sometimes. Hoot, <laughs> hoot, like hoot, like you are the celebration. You know what? I, that's oh, thanks, I man. Saying. I get, I get yeah. you. I get you. You know, yeah. also just like, oh, she's a hoot. Like she's a whacker. She's you no, know, like, which is you're, okay too. You're for which sure, is okay. for sure. Freedom <laughs> appearing as a character or like a person, like really, like freedom appearing thanks, as man. for sure. Well, that too. That too. Yeah, for sure. For sure. But it, there's like a lot that's like not blocked there. And it, Oh, I get what you're saying. You know, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And then, also, yeah, I get you. And then also yeah. it, um, it, um, yeah, it's fun because of that. And also, um, <laughs> it, <clears throat> It, it's cool because it, it pulls from many different places also like I you know the synthesis and distillation thing because you're not you're not on one specific way of you know because when we were talking about your kids you were talking about what scientists talk about with evolutionary psychology and the development of the brain and whatnot and mm -hmm. so you know, yeah. you're referencing things that yeah. um that other you know, won't point to or things like that and so it's good mm -hmm. i feel like that's a core part to that really the unblockage of freedom being able to because it can it can really just go from the place that's that's organically coming without being boxed into specific totally chameleon like chameleon like yeah. Yeah absolutely yeah 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 chameleon's yeah. perfect shape shifting's perfect this yeah. is the perfect way to mm. for sure. yeah so like so i'm feeling i'm feeling a couple things um we'll wrap um yeah. okay cool i'm feeling like um i'm feeling like of course, thanking you and thanking our audience, thanking nobody. Yeah, who's a who's yeah. thank you, everyone. Yeah, We're, we, it's a self-love party. We're thanking ourselves. Wonderful, absolutely. Even the haters. <laughs> oh, and why hate yourself? But uh, yeah. <laughs> it does happen. You know, oh, it's the drama. Oh, Leela. Oh, oh, the play. And so we will... <laughs> We would love for you to check out um, the links in the bio below. So we have Anna's YouTube channels down there. She's got tons of great content on the channel. Also shorts, great shorts also. Love that content, Thanks. so good. Um, the website's there, the Patreon is there so you can support that way. If this resonates, lightning bolts, you can support that way. Um, like the video helps the algorithm. Um, also subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet comment below with your thoughts on the episode would be fun to to just get down there and play together in the community both of us can can jam down there with you um share the video also that's also powerful um if you feel like it, it resonates share it with others you feel like it could resonate with and i feel um i feel like jamming together you know whenever it arises we'll just um we'll just message each other and and we'll potentially do another jam session, just see what freedom, how it wants to appear and play with itself. Cause this was lit. It was fun. Yeah, it was fun, man. It was a fun dance. Very, very beautiful. So just shoot me an email and I don't know, are you, you're going to shimmy off this recording. Can I ask you a few questions? Is that okay? 
Oh, for sure. Yeah. Uh, do you okay, we, I know you're just running, I, running. Should I end the recording and then ask the questions or do you want to get on? Oh, no, I was just going to say, because I wasn't sure if you were addressing your audience there, which I think yeah, you were, but yeah, I was going to no. say, if you, if you want to yeah, send yours. me a copy of this, I can yours. upload it. Uh, yeah, I can upload yeah. this to YouTube too. If you send me a copy of this is what I was going to tell you. I will. Tell you. I will. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cause that's also been a fun thing is like most recently the guests that have come on the show also have their own channels and whatnot. And so, right. so then we're like, we're co-uploading it and then their, yeah. their audience will come and check out what we're up to. Our audience will check out what you're up to type thing. So I will, I'll send right. you. And you guys cool. on, the, on the version that Anna uploads, you can check out the links in the bio below to things like um, no limit society, um, uh, or like what is I or high level perception or our YouTube channel, just some of the things that we've authored and created. So you can check out all that stuff. Um, sweet. So I will send that to you and then, yeah, and we'll see whenever the dance of course continues and whatnot. We, let's wrap this, by the way, let's wrap this, okay. pause the recording. And then, um, you and I, let's just stay in the zoom room for a minute. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. That's cool. Okay, cool. Bye everyone. Peace. Much love.